point or another in our motoring lives, we're all going to experience a flat tyre. For these circumstances, most Vauxhall models contain a tyre repair kit. The instructions for this can be found in the glove box in the owner's manual. Here there's a detailed list of instructions which will help you when you've punctured your tyre. You need to remember that this is only a temporary fix and a more permanent solution will need to be sought from a garage. In most Vauxhall models, the tyre repair kit will be found in the boot. In the Vauxhall Adam, it's under the false floor. You'll need the compressor and the bottle of sealant. The first thing you need to do is take the packaging off the sealant bottle. There's a sticker within the packaging which must be affixed within the driver's field of view which reminds the driver only to drive up to 50 miles per hour. The next thing you need to do is uncoil the filler hose, the air hose and the power cable. Plug in the air hose into the back of the sealant bottle, making sure that it's screwed on tight. Fit the sealant bottle onto the compressor and put near to the tyre. Unscrew the valve cap and plug the filler hose into the valve, making sure this is screwed on tightly as well. Making sure that the compressor is on zero, then take the power cable and plug it into the accessory socket. To avoid flattening your battery, we recommend leaving your engine running. Turn the compressor on to one and the sealant will start filling into your tyre. To achieve the prescribed tyre pressure, this could take up to 10 minutes. If you don't know the prescribed tyre pressure for your car, just check in the owner's manual. Turn off the compressor once the tyre has reached the prescribed pressure. If the tyre is overfilled, you can use the yellow button to remove any excess pressure. Then disconnect the sealant and the compressor as per the owner's manual. Remove the sticker from the sealant bottle and put in the driver's field of view. Continue driving immediately so that the sealant is spread evenly throughout the tyre. Drive for a maximum of 6 miles or 10 minutes and then check your tyre pressure using the compressor and gauge. If the tyre pressure has dropped below 1.3 bar, the vehicle must not be used and you should seek assistance. If not, keep filling the tyre up until it has reached the prescribed pressure and continue driving. Remember, the driving characteristics of the tyre will be affected severely, so be careful and do not drive over 50 miles per hour. Make sure to dispose of the sealant bottle responsibly and replace with a new sealant bottle as soon as possible. The tyre repair kit should only be used for minor damage to the tread pattern and for more information please refer to your owner's manual.